Okay, good. Thanks, Bob. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Well, good morning, everyone. A blessed Palm Sunday to you, a blessed Sunday of the Passion. So one of my Lenten practices this year has been to read um, a little book called Lent with Evelyn Underhill. Um, it's a daily reader of excerpts from her corpus of work uh, compiled by the Right Reverend G.P. Melek Belshaw. Now, that's not the name of a bishop. I don't know what is. Uh, he was the, the, the Bishop of New Jersey. He just died last year, actually. Um, this little book is excellent. It's excellent. And for today, Palm Sunday, the good bishop and Miss Underhill remind us of what St. Paul wrote to the church in Rome um, about what it means to be part of the church. It means, Paul says, being received into the death of Christ, the unconditional sacrifice of the cross in order to walk in newness of life, transformed through self-loss into a bit of that body which is indwelt and rules by the spirit of divine charity. To be part of the church is to be received into the death of Jesus Christ. Transformation through self-loss. That, that was for today. After yesterday's selection through Saturday in the fifth week of Lent, uh, Underhill related to us the words of the 14th century Franciscan mystic Angela of Folgino, pretty obscure saint, um, but, but, um, but, but, but she talks about this practice of being received into Christ's death, like how to do it. And St. Angela said, make yourselves small, make yourselves very small. In a normal Lent, leading up to Holy Week, I, I would spend a lot of time talking up Holy Week, right? I'd emphasize the importance of observing the whole thing, you know, the whole triduum, the, the, the three-day cycle of Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday, combining, you know, culminating in, in the, the most important night of the year, the great vigil of Easter. You know, we, we read the, the, this used to be just Palm Sunday, right? Remember when you were younger, it was just Palm Sunday. Well, now it's Palm and Passion Sunday because people stopped going to Holy Week observances, right? So you could conceivably go from Palm Sunday to Easter without ever hearing the Passion. So that's why we read the Passion on Palm Sunday now. But in normal Lent, I would pull out the big guns and, and encourage, exhort, push everyone to come to the whole of Holy Week. It doesn't work. Holy Week, you know, the, the, the joy of saying H-A-L-L-E-L, -L -L, you know, the rest of it, um, isn't as joyous if you haven't seen the altar stripped on Monday, Thursday. You know, if you haven't knelt in darkness before the cross on Good Friday, if you haven't felt the desolation of Christ's absence from the world on Holy Saturday. Easter, Easter just isn't that special if you haven't felt the darkness of the rest of it. This is not a normal Lent. Again, it is not a normal and not a normal Holy Week. Yes, come, come to get your uh, communion today at 11 or, or, and get your palms. Um, there's a resource in the eclair that I sent out yesterday and, and that uh, Judy sent out on Friday um, about Monday, Thursday, uh, I'm doing an agape feast at home. You know, the, the readings and prayers are there. Um, I'm actually looking forward to that. That, that, should, that should be good. Um, we're gonna walk the Stations of the Cross with the folks at First Congregational on Friday um, uh, at noon on Zoom. Um, and we have an in-person option too, but we'll talk about during the announcements. Um, and then Friday evening at five, we'll join the Down East, all the Episcopal churches in Down East, Maine for uh, the Good Friday liturgy. And then we'll kindle the light of Christ in the great vigil of Easter on uh, Saturday at five with our friends at St. Brendan's and Trinity here on the peninsula. And then we'll have Easter together, you know, Zoom together, and then our drive through communion. And with hats, though, with hot cross buns on Sunday. But this is not a normal Holy Week. And maybe, maybe that's okay. But we'll have to make do in any case. But, but maybe this is an opportunity for us to make ourselves small. Not just as individuals, but us as a group, as a congregation. To, to really focus on being received into the death of Jesus Christ, to really rest into the story, 
the story of Jesus Christ and his friends in the sacrifices they made for us and, and do that in our own heart, on our own time. If we have anything right now, we have time. We've gotten good at sacrifice this year. You have gotten good at it. It's setting your needs as secondary to the needs of others. All that you have given up this year, the hugs, the visits, main you know, jobs, opportunities, friendships, life as you know it, you gave that up for others. You, you wear a mask. You know, when you wear a mask, when you get a shot, when you keep following the rules, when you are patient, waiting for the Pentecost revival of our in-person celebration of the Holy Eucharist. When you have made those sacrifices, as you continue to make those sacrifices of your freedom and comfort, you are making yourself small. You are accepting your reception into the death of Jesus Christ. And in accepting that death, you are welcomed into the eternal life of that same Lord and Savior. For this Holy Week, I encourage you to take the sacrificially solitary time that we are forced into and put it to good use. You know how to be on your own, either by yourself or, or as a couple or in a nucleus as a family. Put the knowledge and wisdom that you've gained in this past year to use this Holy Week. Read, even reread the Passion of St. Mark. Read the scripture for East Day of Holy Week. Um, I, I put links to that all in the, uh, in, in the message yesterday. These readings, the story, these stories, they speak for themselves. That's why the sermon is so short today. Of course, all are welcome and encouraged to join us if you can for Good Friday and the vigil. But take this quiet time our world has forced upon us and seek God with the word that God has given us. Be received into the death of Jesus Christ. Make yourselves small. Make yourselves very small. Amen.